Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to talk about the concept of what is a strong acid. And let me put a question mark over here, because it's really a question, isn't it? What is a strong acid? And of course, most of us probably realize that hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acids like that tend to be strong acids. But what does that really mean? It actually means that when an acid is strong, it actually is weak. What do we mean by that? Well, in chemistry, in chemical reactions, Things are always a tug of war. Things are always pulling on things that they want. And whoever pulls the strongest is the winner. So in the case of an acid, a strong acid, it's always the loser. It seems to be weak in the reaction. So what happens is, for example, we have hydrochloric acid, put it in water, and you end up with the chloride ion and the hydronium ion. Really what's happening here is that the hydrogen ion will separate from the hydro hydrochloric molecule and then there'll be a tug of war between the chlor chloride ion and the water molecule. And even though the chloride ion has a net negative charge and the water molecule has a net zero charge, the water molecule will pull on that hydrogen ion more strongly and acquire it and it turns itself into a hydronium ion. And the reason, of course, again, for that is that when you look at a water molecule, it has one oxygen, it has two hydrogens, and it has two free electron pairs. And so this side of the molecule is very electronegative and has a strong pull on any ions like hydrogen ions that may wander around. And since, of course, an aqueous solution is full of these water molecules, the tendency for the hydrogen ion to be bonded to the water molecule is much more likely than to be bonded to the chlorine ion. So therefore, we can see that hydrochloric acid is actually very weak because every time it struggles with a water molecule over the hydrogen ion, it loses the fight and the hydrogen ion goes to the water molecule instead of the chlorine ion. But that itself makes it a strong acid because what strong acids do is they readily produce as many hydronium ions as possible. Another way of looking at it is that all strong acids appear equally strong in water because they all dissociate and give their hydrogen ions to the water molecules. And when that happens, we call that a strong acid because it produces as many hydronium ions as possible. So from a theoretical perspective, we can say strong acids are those acids that readily donate their hydrogen ion and produce hydronium ions but yet, in the physical sense, they're not very strong at holding on to those hydrogen ions, so therefore they lose the tug of war, they lose the fight with the water molecules. So if you understand that concept, that's very important because then you really understand how acids uh, produce hydronium ions and what makes a strong acid. So, have, if you have a strong acid, what is the result? You result with the conjugate base and lots and lots of hydronium ions. That makes it for a strong acid. Now, let's take a look at a few other concepts here. It turns out that whenever you put a strong acid in an aqueous solution with water, you end up with lots of hydronium ions. However many hydrogen ions the acid can donate, it results in one more hydronium ion in the solution. So it turns out that in the end, you end up with lots of hydronium ions, and that in itself means that the hydronium ion is the strongest acid that can exist in a water solution. because it will not relinquish that hydrogen ion and will stay in solution as such as the hydrogen ion. So that makes this the strongest acid that can exist in a water solution. So another, another way of looking at it is a strong acid is an acid that will take every one of its molecules and take the hydrogen ion and donate it to a water molecule to turn into a hydronium ion. So there will typically be a 100% conversion, or nearly so as far as possible, a 100% conversion of hydrogen ions into hydronium ions. And that's what makes it an acid, a strong acid, a strong acid. And that's the definition of a strong acid.